Hey and welcome to another fun tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can create this cool effect here where you can have this flame in your hand and it looks pretty realistic actually how come these effects are all some stuff that you can actually have in real life I always feel stupid when calling them realistic who cares let's get started now there's a similar tutorial to this one online already but um, I've changed a few things and I think it's easier to make that way if you, in case you know the other one, just in case. So, um, we have the hand footage here. I'm just going to drag that to a new composition on the new comp button. And this is footage from videocopilot.net. And I don't have any footage of a hand myself. Unfortunately, if I did, it would be really bad quality. So, sorry, but... I'm not using that. I don't want to. That's embarrassing for me. <laughs> I haven't got my new camera yet. So I've got this footage from videocopile.net. This is Sam Moya's hand. It was in the bug tutorial where you got bugs crawling on your face or up your arm. And this is the footage from that. You can download it as well as in the project files for that tutorial on videocopile.net, which I'm already saying to the th for the third time, I just noticed. Who cares? Let's get started. Now what you want to do first is you have your footage and you want to track it. So you're going to go to Window and open the Tracker Controls. Then you're going to go to Track Motion. Zoom in here a bit. Select this track point. Just scale it up a bit. And move it to those points over there, for example. These work pretty well. Not always, but they sometimes do. And because I don't want this tutorial to waste any time, I've already created that tracker. Well, I'm going to copy the one from the preview I just showed you. And we'll use that one instead for this tutorial. What you have to do is you just basically set it here. And you create a new null object in your composition. And then once you've got a track, you just click on the... Um, Analyze forward button here when you're in the first frame and analyze to s analyze this footage and then you can apply this data you can edit the target so you make sure it's the null and apply the data and that's how you would have then have your tracker null object now I'm gonna just take the one from the other composition I'm going to go to edit copy and paste this null object in here I'm just gonna call it tracker and it basically when I can when I turn it on here the visibility it's stuck to my footage well basically to the middle of the hand for some distance I didn't track all the way I tracked like I'm gonna stop this at two seconds press the N key to end this here at two seconds and yeah now we've got the footage tracked so our next step would be to import the flame footage now there's footage like this on detonation films dot oops that was a mistake sorry there we pull in our composition down here there's footage like this on detonation films dot com you can just go there and download it it's a really cool website with lots of flames and gunshots it's I really recommend it we're gonna set this layers transfer mode to add so that the black disappears and this label down here, the detonation films, that's only on the very first frame. So if we, or on the first few, it ends right about here. And because this is fairly long foot, fairly long, this um, flame, we're going to drag it back. So that, we're just going to check the first frame here. Drag it back until we got this one spot that we want. There's this spot at the end where it just f blows up and then it bursts. It, well, it burns for quite some time. So we'll like go there at this moment and we're going to drag it up into the middle of our hand then holding one of these corners and the shift key on your keyboard you can scale it up at a uniform scale so it doesn't distort anything and we're going to make it even bigger and that should fit and this is important you're going to have to take the pig whip and parent this to the tracker so that it also has the tracking well it follows the tracking null object and it stays on the hand the entire time and now I'm gonna sorry I'm gonna pull it up even a bit further there so it's in the middle of the hand and I think that fits pretty well so 
Now make sure you got the flame footage selected and we're going to go to effect, color correction and where is it? Curves. And we're going to add some contrast. So just drag this up a bit, this down, just, just a tiny bit so you can see a difference here. Just a tiny bit in contrast difference. It's not that great but makes it look a bit better. And go also effect blur and sharpen sharpen because it's slightly blurred we're going to add like a value of 25 and that brings back some of the details you can see there okay we're done with the flame footage now this some people like to stop at this step this looks well it looks like he has a flame flame in the hand but yeah it doesn't look that realistic it just looks like like it doesn't really look like anything it looks really composited and fake so we're gonna add a new solid we're gonna call this orange glow and in the color selection make sure you get a color like this I chose 250 150 and 15 for the RGB values you can just use them as well okay make comp size okay now I'm just gonna leave the tracker at the top and we're going to turn off the visibility for this layer for a second and take our pen tool and we're just going to draw a quick mask here on the hand something like that turn the visibility back on and you see we've got that now that looks really really odd so we're going to go to we're going to hit is have this layer selected hit mm and the mask feather will feather this out a bit and then with this layer selected hit shift T which also opens the opacity and we're gonna pull this down all the way to sorry again <laughs> all the way to 37 percent that's what I chose for the previous composition and if we we have that now and also we're gonna change the mode to add so instead of that normal orange dark type we have a glowy I don't know how to describe this more like it's a glow on the hand actually and now this is one of the important steps go to effect stylize glow and I'm not going to change it to this simple glow here we're going to go to alpha channel which makes that ring there and now we're going to set the glow threshold all the way up to 95% to pull that ring in there. Maybe even a bit more just so we get that ring in the middle there. And I might pull this over a bit. It doesn't have to fit perfectly on the hand like I had it earlier. The glow radius, we're going to push up to 92. So we got the ring like blurred out. And the intensity will also pull up to 8. So it's really bright. And this already looks a lot better. And it's important what I just missed here is that the glow is below the flame. Did that even make a difference now? That's odd. Oh well. And the glow also has to be parented to the tracker so that it moves with the hand. And now this looks really cool. There's only one thing we're still missing and that is a flicker on the glow so that it looks a bit more realistic. For that we're going to open the opacity and instead of adding keyframes that affect the opacity we're going to alt click on the little stopwatch and we're going to add a wiggle expression and the one we're going to add is wiggle 10 comma 10 and hit enter on the numpad what this does is it changes the um, opacity value 10 times a second it changes it to 10 percent and this is for my limited experimentation with the first test this seems to look pretty cool if I do a quick RAM preview we can see how this turns out and that looks pretty cool and maybe we can go back into our orange glow and turn up the threshold pull that well we can't pull it any further we have to make the mask uh, we have to make the mask a bit smaller so maybe oh if I think about it this looks okay as long as the um, this ring doesn't go off the hand we got the nice glow around on the fingers over here over there on the thumb here it looks really cool and if you found this so we're done here if you found this tutorial any helpful
please go and visit my blog at Killian Co. E. I don't know how you pronounce that. I won't even tell you how I do. At dot com. That's my YouTube username. On the blog, you can view my tutorials. You can. You've got these embedded right here in the Today YouTube I'm player. Show you how you can create this cool. I'm going to turn the sound off, and if you go on full screen, you won't see this very well, but this is HD. You'll see this really good. It lags a bit too because I'm recording, but you can watch this tutorial in HD from a really fast server at YouTube. I really recommend it. There, I'm going to go to the home page right now. There's all my tutorials. Please visit, comment, and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.